As more Americans get vaccinated against COVID-19, many are asking if it is possible for them to still spread the virus. Here to answer that question is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Dr. Nandy, good Monday afternoon. Good afternoon, Alan. How are you? I'm doing great, doctor. Thank you so much. So what does the data tell us about transmission after people have received their two doses? Yeah, Alan, so I'll, I'll be getting my second dose tomorrow morning, so this is, this is applicable to me too. And he, we, here's what we know, that Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines are 95% effective at preventing people from getting ill with COVID-19. But there's very limited data when it comes to whether or not the vaccines actually prevent asymptomatic infection and transmission. That's an important question. Now, Moderna, they have some preliminary data, Alan, that suggests that their vaccine has a two-third reduction in asymptomatic infections, and, and that could translate in lower transmission numbers. But the data is small, which means that we can't really draw solid conclusions. The good news is that both Moderna and Pfizer said that they're conducting more research on asymptomatic infection and transmission. So we should get some more information very soon. You know, Doc, a lot of people have been talking about herd immunity lately. Even if vaccines don't prevent 100% transmission, they can still help us achieve herd immunity. Is that correct? Super, super important point, Alan. And here's what vaccinations do. They help with this herd immunity. And what the heck is that? Herd immunity, immunity is when people have been exposed and that infect, people have been exposed and infections are less likely to happen. We need about 75% to 80% of our population to get vaccinated or develop immunity through infection to say that we've achieved herd immunity. So doc, what about reinfection? How possible is this if, if you have been vaccinated? So yeah, so people say, well, I've been vaccinated, I don't need to do anything, right? So scientists don't yet have the answer. They're looking into this. Now, here's what the CDC has said. Now, CDC said that it's not known what antibody levels are needed to protect against reinfection. We know, and I've talked about this on XYZ, is that reinfections in general are considered to be rare. Having said that, if COVID-19 follows in the footsteps of other coronaviruses like the common cold, it's possible that reinfection might happen later on down the road. You know, Doc, some people have said after getting the dose just once, they feel okay, they can go out and continue to live their life without even wearing a mask or following those social distancing guidelines. But it sounds like it's pretty important that vaccinated people understand that they need to continue with these COVID precautions. Exactly. Just because you got vaccinated doesn't mean it's all over. You can just go hog wild and do whatever you want. You need to follow precautions because even if you're fully vaccinated, you know, what happens is that you, be, you will be highly protected from getting sick from COVID-19, but you may still be able to spread it to others if you get infected. It's all of us that are in this together. Even if you get vaccinated, I'm going to do this too. I'll still make sure I follow precautions so I don't get others sick. And, and once we get 80% of the, of the population vaccinated, we'll have a better chance to be able to, to get back to normalcy. Yeah, some very important information there, Dr. Nandy. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Hey, my pleasure, Alan. Thank you. Glenda? All right, Alan, Dr. Nandy, thank you so much.